Hi guys, Sarah here, and I'm posting for Fiercely Flaring, my Crohn's vlog. So today I'm actually really excited because I got my new Fusion Juicer. <laughs> and if you're into juicing like me, you would love this. See? So now I have two. Welcome to my kitchen, by the way. <laughs> but first, you're in for a treat because we're going to do my Humira shot. Ready? Alright. I'm going to take it out of the fridge. Freshly out of the fridge. Just kidding. I actually just put it back in there because I like to take it out for like a half an hour. So it doesn't burn as much when it goes in because it really burns. Alcohol wipe. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to be really brave doing this. Okay. Ready? <laughs> All right. You guys remember my thumb from the last webisode I had thumb surgery? They found a lump on my thumb. So I'm going to just get up with a little bit of alcohol. Clean the area. Pretty simple. Take our Humera and check inside. Make sure it's to the fill line. Make sure there's no bubbles or air in there or anything. You also want to make sure um, to check the expiration date just in case. Um, and yeah pretty much ready to go. So, take off number one. Take off number two. Punch the skin. I'm gonna do it right here. And another thing I found when you do this Make sure you press pretty hard whenever you press the button down because otherwise that's how the skin bubbles up. I've noticed this. If you don't press down hard enough, it kind of gathers under your skin so it's going to bubble and it's going to leave a bubble which you don't really want. It. So here we go. Try to get as much fat as possible. 90 degree angle, press down, and it's pretty normal if you get a little bit of leakage prior to doing it. One, two, three. And I'm counting to 10 in my head and kind of curving my face. <laughs> And that's it. See, you kind of have a little red mark. But you can always take a wipe and wipe it off. See, no blood. All right. So now we're going to make a juice. They give you a disposal thing to put these in. So if you happen to lose it or throw it away, just tell them and Humera will actually send you a new disposal thing to put these in because it's actually you know, bad or you can't, you're not allowed to throw them in the trash or something. So anyway, we're going to make a master shot, which is a lemon ginger shot with a new juicer. So let's do it. This is my new juicer. 
I'm pretty much in love. So I actually have two juicers now, and the one that I've been using is my Bella Nutra Pro, and it's a masticulating juicer, which means it presses instead of shredding, which actually I've read is better for you because it keeps a lot of the pulp and more of the nutrients and stuff. However, cleanup on this type of juicer is really, really annoying, I'm not going to lie, because you literally have to take a toothbrush and clean the little blades in there. It's crazy to, especially if you want to wake up in the morning and you just want to make, you know, like a lemon ginger shot or something, which I'm going to make right now. Um, it's really a pain to try to clean this thing every single time for one shot. So, now I have my fusion juicer, and I'm going to make a lemon ginger shot. Let's see how this baby does. I just took it out of the box. Another thing I want to mention, too, um, with my Crohn's lately, um, I'm not sure if it's from the Humera or some different unknown reason, but I want to know if you guys have had any type of crazy side effects from the Humera. Um, I woke up like four days ago and I could not move my neck. And at first I thought, okay, maybe I slept on it wrong because it was so bad and I had the worst back pain up through here and up through my neck. And it's still kind of sore a little bit, but the entire day I could barely move my neck. It hurt so bad. And I woke up the next morning, and it was even worse. And it seemed to get progressively worse throughout the last three days, three or four days. And today was the first morning, just because I slept with a heating pad on it, that it wasn't like that. But it wasn't kind of like a crank in your neck kind of hurt. It was almost like a kind of like a vibrating pain. I don't know. It's really hard to describe, but it kind of felt like it was coming up through my spine. Um, and also, I don't know if this had something to do with it as well, but the left side of the out, or the, yeah, outside of my left big toe is numb. Like when I touch it, it just kind of tingles as if it's asleep, but it, it's kind of numb to the touch. So it's like, it's kind of weird. I know, I noticed it actually when I went to go get my nails done it because she was like touching my feet and I was like, oh, whoa, that's weird. So I don't know if it's related to the pain in my neck or, if, you know, it all goes together or if the Humera is finally making side effects in my body or what, but I haven't had any huge problems with my Crohn's, knock on wood, over the last few weeks. So the Humera must be doing its job, um, that on top of my diet I do and just nothing processed, nothing horrible, like everything clean, free range, organic, and yeah, I've been doing a lot better in that aspect, but as far as this goes and the side effects and my thumb, it's just, it's kind of, it's kind of bad, you know? So anyway, we're going to take a little bit of ginger and a lemon, and we're just going to make a quick little lemon ginger shot. You guys are in for a treat. This is my baby. I even teach Bailey my lemon ginger shot skills. See? He likes it. Ginger? Nope, you can't have it. This is how simple this is, guys. First, we might want to turn it on. <laughs> Loading this to the top. So that looks beautiful. Now we're just going to cut our lemon in half, stick it in the lemon squeezer, lift that up, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice, and that right there is a perfect start to your day.
even though it's like 11 o'clock at night. But I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs>